السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Tariqat and Asawafil Harimin Jamiat. This Tariqat is based on association. This is the last association in the month of Ramadan, on the day of Juma. Inshallah, Allah grant us life to see the next Ramadan. And so we're going to enter into the last few nights of Ramadan. Yeah, somebody just asked me the question, He's saying that when we were growing up, the last few nights of Ramadan before Bayram, they taught us that those are the nights where you have to be very, very, very busy buying clothes, buying things, making things, cooking things to get ready for Bayram. And he's asking, what are the things that we should prepare other than this? Yes. I want everyone to know also, it is good to prepare for Bayram. It is good to celebrate. But when there is no shariat according to that celebration, when there are no borderlines, when there are no limits, when anything that is halal, when you pass that limit, it becomes haram. Anything that is halal, it passes its limits, it becomes forbidden. I'm not saying that it is forbidden. I'm saying don't pass your limits to make it forbidden. Now, how are you going to judge whether you pass the limits or not? It doesn't take a genius to understand if you pass the limits or not. It doesn't. The Prophet is saying what in the khutbah? When you have a banquet and it's only for the rich people and you don't invite the poor people to eat with you, that banquet, that eating, everything is what? Haram. It becomes forbidden. It becomes forbidden. So that is enough for us, indication, for us to know now, how are we going to balance it? What are we going to do? Are we teaching our kids? Are we teaching our kids in this month of Ramaz, in this month of charity, to give charity? Huh? No. Are we teaching our kids in this month of giving to give to poor people? How many of us? I see so many tour groups, tour of Holy Lands, tour of uh, Mecca, tour of Medina, tour of Kudus, all these Holy Lands, all these Holy... Good, very good, you can go. I've never seen a tour of people making touring orphanage in the month of Ramadan, touring hospitals, Touring the poor districts to give. Correct? A little bit here and there. We are seeing it. Smile. You know? But we send our children to memorize the Quran, but we're not teaching them how to care for the orphan the one that the Prophet was sent for them, that the Qur'an came from him by Allah. How messed up is that? How very weird is that? So you're not teaching your kids how to give, just to take, just to take and to enjoy. This is what happened. I'm not just talking about ibadat of the last few nights, which we have to be busy with the ibadat. Okay? And the night before, it is known as the, as the night of Arafah. We talked about it last night. There's so many prayers that you can do. You don't know what to do. Just get up and pray two rakats. Pray one fatiha, pray ten ikhlas. Pray as many rakats as you want and give salams. That is acceptable. That is also a prayer, a specific one. Make as much as you want. We're not even talking about the ibadat, which people are not really that busy with. Because like what we said yesterday, the treasure, it is found in ruins. The treasure is always in ruins. When it looks as if there's nothing there, the treasure it is there. Something valuable is always there when no one is looking for it. When everyone is looking to know that it is not there. 
when everyone is rushing just to change curtains. Subhanallah. Now I have to deal with curtains. On the Juma night, uh, Juma morning, to get ready for Juma, to get ready for uh, the Juma to Ghada, that I have to say, do so many things. Eh, Murid, very busy texting me. Curtains, drapes, problem, big problem. Chef and his house, curtains, 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 curtains. I say, wake up, bruh. So on that night of Arafah, that you can also do the ibadat. Don't forget, which we should have mentioned in this khutbah, always the poor people, the refugees, those who are people who are involved in the war, those who are always in uh, mazlum, they are, we must always remember them. Not just to remember them when you're flicking through your Facebook. One second you look, next second you laugh, next second you cry, next second you, you understand. It's not sticking. But in a situation like that, to mention, we ask. So, not just to be busy with all those things in the last few nights. To be busy with ibadat. To put a limit. It is more important on the day of Eid now, for the Qurban to clean everything rather than to buy to clean so many of you you don't know how to clean until you came here huh? what you think it is cleaning Pakistanis have one style of cleaning Malaysians one style of cleaning Chinese one style of cleaning Indians one style you don't know what is cleaning according to the Osmanli style now you know and now you know that it is a very big job. Now you know when you do that, the whole house, you feel as if it's making zikr when it is clean. Because you are cleaning, you're taking away all the dust and everything, where all the shaitans and everything, they're leftovers. They're cleaning, and when all those wrong things are taken away, the angels, they come. When the angels, they come, and they like clean places, the angels are there only praying for you. Praying to Allah for you. That's why you feel good. That is more important. So now, the kids, it is important to teach them in this month. Don't just teach them. Bayram is just collecting money, wearing new clothes, eating good food. Which, especially in this country, you can get that every single day. It doesn't have to be Ramazan, it doesn't have to be Bayram, correct? It loses that magic also. It loses that attraction. When I was growing up, and it wasn't too long ago, when I was growing up, we could not afford to drink soda every day. We only drink soda during Eid. That's when families would save up money to buy crates of soda in bottles and then they would serve to people on the day of Eid and they would drink and they would taste so nice. Because you're doing it once a year, they can drink as much as you want. Now, there's no taste for anything. You get it every day, you get your children, there's no taste. Their hearts are dead. When, this is, when the stomachs are too full, the hearts are dead. When the stomach is empty, the heart, it sinks. It becomes like what Malana Rumi is saying. How are you going to beat a drum to make a good sound when it is full? The drum has to be empty. That time when you hit it, nice sound will come out. So what are we going to leave behind? What is our legacy? To raise children that is going to destroy this world. Raise children that are just going to say, me, this is what the world has entered into, correct? Raising a generation that we are entitled. Don't kill your children's hearts, please. Don't kill their hearts. And Islam is not just going up and down, bowing up and down like a robot, trying to swallow that Quran. That Islam is not that. Islam, it is having good manners. 
And it is good manners when you are eating to share. It is good manners when there are poor people to help. This is when you become human. When you become human, you can rise to the level of angels. When you do that, you can find your way to Allah. Understand? That's what we have to teach them, inshallah. So, this is how it is. Clean your houses. Pray. Worship. Ask. Because that is the night majority, they're not really that asking so much. They're just rushing to enjoy. Ask. Inshallah, may it be accepted. Wa min Allah tawfiq al Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum.